Hi, my name is Lloyd and I am a third year medical student from the University of the Philippines College of Medicine. In this video, uh, I want to answer the question, in the UPCM admission process, what qualities do interviewers look for? And also, I want to share some changes they did in the admission process. The information I'll be sharing today is from an article that I've read from the UPCM administration entitled Admission Policy Infusing the Spirit of Service. Because back in 2017, there were big changes with the admission process in UPCM. They changed the interview, they changed how many students are going to admit per batch, and so right now the interview is more free-flowing and less of a questionnaire type. They also emphasize that there are certain qualities that they look for in UPCM students. So, kung nainip na kayo uh, on what these qualities are, there are timestamps below if you just want to skip to that part. Um, but before I share those, just a little bit of background on how these changes came to be. In 2017, the UPCM administration realized that they need to update the admission process because of certain issues that they discovered. So for 20 years, it's been the same process. You know, there's when they check your grades and then there's an interview, a questionnaire type of interview, and they pick students from those information. But uh, there are some issues. So one of them was that they had to take into account the variation in grades from different campuses and different courses because they realized that some courses really had bigger grades compared to other other courses so they had to factor that in those difference in grades among courses in the admission process number two they realized that academic factors isn't enough it's incomplete and they had to find a way to factor in you know other attributes that a doctor must have and so they realized that attitude should be placed a premium in the admission process and so they thought that the best way to plug in these attitudes of a good physician would be through the interview process. But the interview process has been the same for 20 years and it's a questionnaire type of interview. So they realized that they have to make changes. So what did the administration do? Well, they had a big study and they had a survey and they asked all sorts of people from doctors to medical students to staff in the PGH and even patients and they asked them what qualities should a doctor have and they came up with a list of attributes shown here excellence empathy compassion service compassion again makabayan kindness compassion again caring kindness masikaso and caring so wow paulit ulit yung compassion and caring and all these soft all these soft attributes that a UPCM student should have and that's not the only changes they did in the interview so that's one They're, they decided to look for these qualities number two so from a, a questionnaire type of interview they decided that it's gonna be more free-flowing now and more spontaneous another change is that um, they they had an adjustment factor depending on your course and school to level out the playing field among different courses and another change is that they increased the class size from 160 students per batch to 180 students per batch so yun, those are the more official information that I want to share with you and right now I want to share some uh, personal opinion of mine and some comments regarding the in, uh, my interview experience so three things number one the interview is very interviewer based and depending on who you ask like they're really gonna have totally different experiences regarding the interview one might say na grabe sobrang strict ng interviewer ko like they looked at how i was dressed up ganun tapos yung isa kong classmate sabi niya na oh grabe yung interview <laughs> yung during my interview tin um tinanungan ako ng mga political questions and I had to be uh, and I had to come up with answers but then for 
in my case, my interview was actually very nice and relatively chill compared to others. My interviewers, there were two of them, they were super nice. And I really enjoyed the experience of my interview process. So that's one. Another thing is that I had my interview process like quite a few years ago. Tapos yung with all the pandemic and stuff, they've actually changed the interview process na it's most probably still gonna be online this year. And so my third comment or advice would be to ask and talk to as many people or friends as you can about their interview experience because it's really gonna be different uh, one from one person to another and especially yung mga recent batches last year who just came in they're the ones who's gonna have probably the closest experience that you're gonna have so it might be a good idea to ask them as well so how would this information about the interview and admission process affect you? But well, maybe you're thinking na, ah, so dapat sa interview ko, I should tell a story of how compassionate I was to other people. Or, uh, well, that's up to you. But maybe you're someone who feels anxious and you don't know what to expect with the interview process. So maybe this video made you realize na, huh, I have what it takes pala to be a UPCM student. So I hope this video makes you feel less anxious and more prepared of your interview. So good luck and uh, if you have questions um, or if you want to reach out, yeah feel free to reach out. Um, my social links are down below and if you have questions or if you're someone who has tips for uh, our interviewees, feel free to comment them down below. Okay, so I guess that's it for now. Uh, good luck and stay safe always and God bless.